Tree here at the Pain and Glory, the official fight show of Seni at its new home in the XL London. Harvey Harrah from the UK up against Marcus Oberg from Sweden and Oberg is just not observing K1 rules here. Holding on too long before delivering the strike. And again, referee says break. Oberg delivers a strike and is being told not to hold on. But look at Hara, advantages himself, puts a high kick up. Oh, he'll be buoyed on by that, Harvey Hara now. Marcus Oberg. Takes another warning. Harrah's back. Oh, and he'll be on him like a drunk on a kebab. Oberg really needs to have a care now. Beautifully placed front kick and the toe just hit under the cheekbone, the left cheekbone of Marcus Oberg. But he looks tired, Oberg, now. And this is where the experience counts. So there's the deduction and Oberg in trouble. Harvey Harra bringing it on, full fat style. Well, it was all going so swimmingly for Marcus Oberg. He had the strength, he pressurized Harvey Harra, he got the knockdown, but now it's touch and go. Well, Fight Night UK, the home of the best British fight action. And uh, you won't find better from the UK anywhere else. Harvey Harra from Team Supreme, an unbeaten record as a kickboxer, comes to K1 and demonstrates incredible heart and talent. Oberg tries to throw him out of the tight clinch and Harra takes him with him when he goes, rolls him over. And Oberg starting to huff and puff. And uh, if Oberg gets sloppy with his work, Hara will capitalize. Both fighters looking tired, but it's Hara that's hungry and Hara searching and he's headhunting Oberg here. It can all turn on a sixpence. This is K1, anything can happen. Spinning back fist, follows through with a kick to the midsection. And at the bell, Marcus Oberg, the fighter from Malmo, Sweden. Well, it's just on the receiving end of some awesome British kickboxing talent. It's the third and final, and this fight can go any way at this stage. Hara took a standing count. Oberg had a point deduction, but look at this. It's Harrah that's got the strength now, coming out to the last round. It's him that's throwing Marcus Oberg to the ground. It's Harrah that's got the kicks. It's Harrah that's got the combinations. And Oberg troubled at this stage that it could all go so desperately wrong. Nice little low kick inside thigh there. Harrah drops the left over the top. Big old strikes from Marcus Oberg. We can see them coming. Quicker, neater from Hara. Finds the chin with the right. Well, Marcus Oberg driving Hara to the ground there. It doesn't count under K1 rules. Hara needs to step up the workload. This is very, very easily within his grasp. Jumps in with a flying knee strike. Well, Marcus Oberg has the look of a man that's thrown everything he's got. And Hara, well, he looks like a fella that's got a trick up his sleeve. Fantastically presided over by referee.
Good left. Hara powers through. And both men tired. This is a real battle, but it's Hara that's driving forward. Finds his way in with that neat left uppercut. Comes through the guard of Oberg. Scoring away. Well, this is a desperate time for both fighters. Harvey Harra needs to be sure he's done enough. Marcus Oberg still dangerous at this stage, but both men very, very tired. So you can find out what's happening on Fight Night UK by checking out the info in Fighters Mag. And as this round draws to a close, it's Harvey Harrah trying to get leverage and a bit of grunt behind the shot and finishes with a bit of flash, drives Oberg to the corner, drives him to the ground. And these are last minute desperate attempts by Harrah at the bell. Oberg throws his hands up, but Harrah throws his hands up. It's going to be close. Three rounds, we are on of the cards for the decision. Judge one scores the bout, Harrah. Judge two scores the bout, Hara, and Judge 3 scores the bout, Hara.